Hello guys, today we are going to talk about Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, so before starting the book let us know about this book. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix is the fifth book in the Harry Potter series, authored by British author J.K. Rowling. It chronicles Harry Potter's tribulations as he enters his fifth year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, including the reappearance of the nemesis Lord Voldemort, OWL exams, and an obstinate ministry of magic. Bloomsbury in the United Kingdom, Scholastic, in the United States, and Raincurst in Canada all released the novel on June 21, 2003. In the first 24 hours after its release, it sold 5 million copies. It is the series' longest book, so this was a small introduction about the book and the author of the book. Now read Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and understand what is special about it. Harry Potter is having another boring summer with his terrible Aunt Petunia and Uncle Vernon when a group of evil spirits known as Amnesiacs make a surprise attack on Harry and his cousin Dudley. Maternal Uncle. After using magic to defend himself Harry is visited by a group of wizards and taken to Number 12 Grimauld Place London. Number 12 is the home of Harry's godfather Sirius Black and the headquarters of the Order of the Phoenix. The Order is a group of wizards led by Hogwarts headmaster Lewis Dumbledore dedicated to fighting the evil Lord Voldemort and his followers. The Order was forced to operate in secrecy outside the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Magic led by Cornelius Fudge. Fudge refuses to believe that Lord Voldemort has returned. Harry has used magic against Amnesiacs and since underage wizards are not allowed to use wands outside of school he faces a disciplinary hearing at the Ministry of Education. With Dumbledore's help, Harry was freed and allowed to return to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Reunited with his best friends Ron and Hermione, Harry returns to Hogwarts to learn that Dolores Umbridge, an employee of Fudge, will be the new defense against the dark arts teacher. The sorting hat traditionally places all new students in one of four houses warning students against too much internal division. Meanwhile, the wizarding newspaper The Daily Prophet continued to publish false and unfair stories about Harry. Many of his classmates whisper about him behind his back but Harry ignores them and tries to concentrate on his studies, as all fifth year students at Hogwarts are required to take the OWL or high level exam. Normal War Umridge refused to teach her students how to perform defensive spells and before long Fudge appointed her as the High Inquisitor of Hogwarts giving him the authority to inspect all instructors and evaluate their skills. In desperation, Harry Hermione and Ron formed their defense group against the Dark Arts also known as the D.A. or Dumbledore's Army. Another 25 students signed up and they met as often as possible to learn and practice defensive spells. Harry desperately wants to contact his godfather Sirius to discuss the situation but Umridge goes through all of the Owl's mail and traffic light patrols which the students can use to communicate with the resident wizards. Reside outside of Hogwarts. Umridge openly hates Harry whom she considers a liar and eventually bans him from their Gryffind or Quidditch team. Ron's twin brothers Fred and George stepped out of Hogwarts in protest and moved to London where they plan to open a joke shop with money Harry made last year from the Tree Wizard Tournament. Harry continues to have traumatic dreams as he walks down a corridor in the Department of Mysteries deep within the Ministry of Magic. At the end of the corridor, Harry passed through several doors and into a room filled with dusty glass spheres. Harry always wakes up before finding out what dreams mean or what the spheres mean. One night Harry had a vision where he lived in the carcass of a large snake and attacked Tron's father. Harry awoke in horror and Professor McGonagall immediately took him to see Dumbledore. 
Dumbledore used the portraits on the wall of his office to sound the alarm and Mr. Weasley was quickly rescued by two members of the order. Dumbledore then asks Harry to take occult lessons with Professor Snape which will help Harry protect his mind against further invasions from Lord Voldemort. Harry did not succeed in occult because he had a hard time clearing all the thoughts in his head which prevented him from focusing on closing his mind to any outside influences. Meanwhile, his scar, from the attack in which Voldemort killed Harry's parents, burns every time Voldemort experiences strong emotion. Skin continued to meet regularly and Harry's colleagues showed great progress until they were captured by Umbridge. Dumbledore took full responsibility for the group and resigned as headmaster. Umbridge continued her post. Students begin taking the OWL and Harry had another vision this time of Sirius being held and tortured by Voldemort. Terrified, Harry is determined to save him. Hermione warns Harry that Voldemort may be trying to lure Harry into the Department of Mysteries but Harry is too preoccupied with Sirius to take the Harry sneaks into Umbridge's office and using his fireplace sends himself to the Twelve Grimauld to find Sirius. Kretcher the Shadow Elf tells Harry that Sirius is at the Ministry of Magic. Harry returns to Hogwarts and discovers that he and his friends have been captured in Umbridge's office. Hermione and Harry persuade Umbridge to follow them into the woods where they think Dumbledore's weapons are hidden. Once in the woods, the centaurs take Umbridge away. Harry and his friends ordered flying horses called Thestrals and ran towards the ministry. Once there Harry couldn't find Sirius and realized that Hermione was right. Harry also finds that one of the glass spheres is his name as does Voldemort's. Harry grabbed the oar and the Death Eaters surrounded it to attack, demanding Harry hand over the prophecy. Using all of their defensive skills Harry Ron, Hermione, Ginny, Luna and Neville were moderately successful in fighting the Death Eaters but they were ultimately greatly helped by the appearance of some Order members. In the middle of the fight, Harry drops the crystal all and it shatters. Meanwhile Sirius's cousin Death Eater Bellatrix less strange kills Sirius. Harry is devastated. Dumbledore appeared and surrounded the Death Eaters. Voldemort and Lestrange escape just as Fudge appears. Dumbledore roughs Harry back to school explaining that the awe was a prophecy that said Harry had powers that Voldemort was unaware of. Dumbledore explains that this power is love. The prophecy goes on to say that Harry will destroy Voldemort or be destroyed by him. Dumbledore took their opportunity to tell Harry why he had to spend his summer with the Dursleys in Little Whinging. Because Harry's mother died to save him he is blessed with her love, a blessing that can only be sealed with blood. Harry's Aunt Petunia, his mother's sister, completes the relationship by taking Harry home to her. As long as he calls Little Whinging home Harry will be safe. With this news, Harry returns to his aunt and uncle for another miserable s So, guys, this was a summary of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix or if you are new to this channel Secret Healing then subscribe to this and press the bell icon. Thank you.